Beamsheet is about connecting your existing Excel calculations directly to BIM. It's about visualizing not just BIM data, but your actual Excel calculations with the model. It's about using BIM in the easiest possible way through the Excel interface and your calculation, which you already know how to use. My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome to getting started with Beamsheet. Let's walk through the basic workflow how to connect your Excel calculation to BIM. Before we start, please select one of your existing Excel calculation, which could benefit from the BIM-based measurements. I've made this simple bill of quantities, which already have some calculations and formulas in place, as you can see. Basically, it's waiting for quantities to be extracted from the design and filled in. My Excel is simple for easy demonstration, but you can of course use your own real-life Excel if you like. You should also have an IFC model available, or you can use one of our sample models. Anyways, open your model in Simple BIM. You might want to go to the Export Preview workspace here. If you don't yet have BIM sheet visible, you can add it to the workspace from the ribbon like this. Just dock it wherever you like. Now you're ready to start the actual connecting. It takes only three simple steps. Step one, you could simply start extracting data to the empty spreadsheet, but usually you have some ready-made calculations waiting for the data. So go to the BIM Seeds menu and open your existing Excel workbook. At this point, it's still just a basic Excel spreadsheet waiting for the data. Step two. Next, select data from the model and connect it to your calculation. Add a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon. It is recommended workflow to fill in the model data to a separate sheet from your actual calculations. Now drag and drop, for example, the walls from the object palette to the spreadsheet. Note that you can place the data anywhere you like. The data is filled in downwards and right from the cell you end your drop. A configuration dialog is opened. You could simply click OK here and get all the data up to the sheet. However, usually you want to make some configurations. First of all, let's go to the column chooser and select the properties we want to export. On the left are the selected properties. Move everything to the right with the double arrow and then select only a few properties either by drag and dropping them back to the left or using the arrow button. If you have trouble finding a property, use the search box or try the different grouping options here. Now click OK. You can also configure the order of the columns or properties here. For example, you could move the length property last by tracking it. Furthermore, you can select different kind of key values for the columns. Click on the sigma icon. Let's select count for the type identifier property, some summaries for others, and also maybe average for the length. Finally, let's add a simple filter. You don't have to do this, uh, but in this case, I only want the internal walls to the sheet. So I set a start with rule with INT as my filter. There are other things you can configure. For example, you could group the data like this, but we can come back to those later in other tutorials. For now, click OK and the data is filled into your sheet. It's probably a good idea to give the sheet a proper name so that you can remember the rule later. Right click, rename, in my case, internal walls. There are several ways to select the data and the building elements from the model. In this case, we used object class, but you could also use groups. I'll make another tutorial about that. Step three, finally connect the model data to your calculation with normal Excel references as easy and as familiar as that. For example, my formula uses this quantity cell, so I connect the summary from my model data to it. Start the formula, click the referenced cell, the connection is ready. Add all the references you need and then you're done. You are ready to visualize the result. You could go to the model data sheet and select BIM data rows like in other open BIM tools. Note you can select individual cells or paint multiple ones. 
But why do that? Because in the BIM sheet we took the visualization that one game changing step further. You can simply click on your formula cell and the data linked to it is visualized from the model. It can be a simple formula like this one or even a grand total, meaning the model data can be linked to your calculation through multiple references. This is not possible in other PIM tools. Note also that you can even select how the data is visualized. This can be selected from the 3D palettes ribbon. Do you want to simply select the building elements or isolate or reveal them? It's your choice. Ok, check your calculation and that all the required building elements are included and that they are all linked correctly. At this point you could go and adjust your calculations, reconfigure the model data extraction rules or even the model data itself. Again, this is something that most Open BIM tools don't allow you to do. When you are happy with the results, you can of course save the data back to Excel file for further processing. If you open the result in the actual Excel application, you can see what you saw in the BIM sheet is what you got. Now comes the fun part. You can also save a reusable BIM sheet. This will include all the rules which we just defined. In other words, your calculation of course, what building elements and their properties are included and how they are linked to your calculations. We'll come back to reusing the BIM sheet in another tutorial in more details. This was the basic workflow for connecting your existing Excel to model data with BIM sheet. Please check the other BIM sheet tutorials for more details and tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.